guys welcome back to my channel I have noticed a few new subscribers recently so if you are new here watching this video hi <laughs> my name is Rachel I'm married to my husband Philip and we have two kids one toddler she's about to be two named Noel that's our daughter and our son Caleb who is nine months old so currently I am dealing with two under two which is crazy so since there are some new faces, I thought I would do something fun today and do a kind of a get to know me tag or a 25 random facts tag, whatever you want to call it. And even people who like know me in real life won't know these things because they're pretty random and not something like I normally just broadcast. If, you, if you're like my family, you know, but <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who know me who don't know these things. So I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you guys so you could kind of get to know me a little bit better even if they're just random things that don't really matter. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So number one, I have like a, um, what do you call it? It's not like a nervous tick, it's more like a concentrated tick. I go like this or rub my fingers together when I'm concentrating on something and it's actually really annoying because when I do notice that I'm doing it, I can't focus on anything anymore <laughs> but yeah like whenever I'm reading or watching a YouTube video or anything I'm always like my fingers are always going <laughs> number two I actually wrote a book <laughs> this is it this is not a shameless self plug or anything you can buy it if you want but um yeah this is something that I worked on for a long time I actually wrote it years and years and years ago and I self published it through Amazon and it was terrible like I didn't edit it proofread it nothing and I just put it out of the market and I decided to take that one down and rewrite it so it's way longer and way better in my opinion but um, it's called preferred isolation and you can get it on Amazon if you want I can make a separate video talking about my book if you guys even want to see that let me know I won't talk about it in this video but yeah I did write a book and I do write like I love writing I've written my whole life just like random I used to write scripts and stuff like I just I just like writing so number three I am a major hypochondriac it's um, gotten worse <laughs> since I had my second child because of my anxiety that decided to surface times a million and I'm still dealing with so that doesn't help with the whole hypochondriac thing but yeah whenever I get like a tiny little twitch in my leg or some like a small scrape or <laughs> whatever I just think I'm gonna die so that's fun to deal with number four I love big dogs I've always loved big dogs I love all dogs really and like animals in general but big dogs like those are my go-to's when it comes to pets. I always plan on having big dogs my entire life. Right now I have two and the first one, his name's Draco and he is a Pointer Dalmatian. I got him from the SPCA. He was there for a day <laughs> and I was like, I have to have this one. He's so sweet. He still is sweet, like he's a really good family dog, but he's also really annoying, <laughs> but I love him. He's like eight years old now, which is pretty old when you're a big dog but hopefully he sticks around with us for a while and my second dog is a boxer pit we went through like a year of thinking that he was a hound we got him at SPCA again we rescued him and they said he was a hound mix and there is no hound in him so he's a boxer pit <laughs> He's about six now, which is crazy. We still think of him as our little puppy. <laughs> we got him when he was four months old. And his name is Maverick. So those are the dogs we have right now. And we are planning on having a Great Dane next. That's going to be our next dog, but we are never going to have more than two dogs. That's just way too much for us. We might go down to one, we're not sure yet. But yeah, Great Dane is our next dog and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Number five, my favorite food is sushi. <laughs> When I was pregnant and I couldn't have sushi, it was like a tragedy for me. <laughs> it was agony waiting until I could have it again. And when I had my son, that was my one request to have when I delivered him, like when I was recovering and everything was to have sushi brought to my room and that did happen. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. 
Number six, my favorite movies are Uptown Girls, which is probably my all-time favorite movie. Oliver and Company, which is like very nostalgic for me. It was my favorite Disney movie growing up, so I still love it. <laughs> um, Greatest Showman, which is awesome if you haven't seen it. I really love musicals, which brings me to my last one, which is the new Aladdin, the old Aladdin or original Aladdin was probably my second favorite Disney movie ever. And when the new one came out, that one was amazing too. I don't always like remakes, but this one was really good. So I highly, highly recommend that you see that one if you haven't already. Number seven, my favorite things to watch on TV, and it's kind of like a guilty pleasure for me, is reality shows. <laughs> Specifically, reality competition shows. I'm super into The Bachelor, all, The Bachelorette, all of that, and also like Survivor and Big Brother and all of that. Like, I just can't express to you how much I enjoy watching those shows. It's really hard for me to get into like dramas or stuff. Like, I do like some, like I liked The Vampire Diaries and Gilmore Girls and like I do like some scripted shows, but reality is my jam, <laughs> even though all of that is fake too. Like I don't want you to think that I actually believe that stuff. It's true to an extent, but they definitely make them say things, but I still really enjoy it. <laughs> Number eight, I went through very awkward phases of makeup throughout my middle school and high school years. I never knew how to do it. I never really asked how to do it. I just kind of tried to figure it out on my own. I used to put like eyeliner underneath my eyelid, like way down here thinking that that was what you were supposed to do. I didn't even know what foundation was. I actually didn't even start wearing foundation until after I graduated high school, which is crazy. Um, I still don't really know how to do my makeup that well. I don't really do my eyebrows. I know you guys are like cringing, but yeah, it's just not something I've ever been really passionate about, but I feel like I've improved. <laughs> I don't know. Don't be too harsh about it in the comments, but yeah, I've definitely improved. You should have seen me way back when. Number nine, I love Taco Bell way too much. People who know me in real life know this about me, and I used to get it every single day. Like when I got married and I was working, I would spend all my money on Taco Bell every single day. I would not make meals at home. It was just Taco Bell all the time, which is really bad, I know. I've gotten a lot better. I do eat at home now, but I do, Taco Bell still holds a very special place in my heart. Number 10, I am a Christian. I've been a Christian my entire life. I grew up in church. I try to live the best life that I can live in regards to that and yeah, I'm proud of it. Number 11, I am not sentimental at all. Like I hardly keep anything. My husband had to try and convince me to keep some things from when our daughter was born, like her coming home outfit and everything. And I just think like, but I don't want it to sit in a box <laughs> for years and years. Like I'd rather another baby use it and be able to like get use out of it and everything instead of it just sitting in a box, you know what I mean? And there's just some things that I don't want to keep. I'm like a minimalist, so I don't like stuff. So I'd rather it just be gone. That may sound harsh to some of you, but like I have the memories that I need in pictures. Like I have pictures of her in that outfit and I plan to keep them forever, put them in a baby book or whatever, but I don't want to keep the actual stuff. So yeah, I'm not a, not a sentimental person. Number 12, and this may come as a bit of a shock to some of you after I just told you about my whole Taco Bell everyday thing. So there's certain things that I didn't know how to cut, like vegetables. I had never cut broccoli, um, sweet potato, um, onion, things like that for a long time until last week. <laughs> We just started making my son's baby food and I really wanted to be able to do that. So I just learned how to cut those things and like just make real food like that from scratch. Cause I would make things out of a box obviously, but I just learned how to do that like last week. <laughs> and that's really sad, I know, but I'm just not much of a cook. My husband does all the cooking, which I feel also feel bad about because he comes home from work and then cooks dinner for us. But, I mean, I have the house clean for him, and our kids are alive. Is that good? <laughs> but 
but yeah i'm trying to get into it more and cook more and everything so hopefully hopefully i can nail it <laughs> number 13 i am very close with my family specifically my mom's side of the family and some people on my dad's side any chance that we can come together as a family i'm all for I just love spending time with them. Even my husband, when we go over to like my aunt's house or something, he's just like, this is so like relaxing and comfortable and like you don't have to worry about anything. And it's just, it's nice. No one's on edge. There's no tension or anything. It's just really nice. And I love that about my family. Number 14, I am terrified of like bad thunderstorms, especially when I'm at the house by myself. And even more so now that I have two kids to look after. If there's even a mention of like excessive lightning or windy and threat of tornadoes, like I'm just done. That's it. I freak out. <laughs> I really wish I didn't panic about that stuff, but um, yeah, I'm really scared of storms. And living in Florida when it storms like every day in the summer, it's just not a good time for me. <laughs> but most storms like I can handle. It's just like the really bad ones that I don't like. <laughs> Number 15, I actually played tennis in high school. I was on the team for a year and I played, I had a tennis class and everything. And it's just something that I really enjoyed doing. I actually started when I was like 10 years old and me, my cousin and my sister would play. Yeah, so I've technically been playing since I was about 10 years old and we'd go to like tennis camp and stuff like that, and which was really fun. I would love to get back into playing tennis, but it's just not like the right time. We don't. I don't have any time. I'm here with two under two, so I can't really go out and play tennis. And my husband works all the time, so I don't have anyone to play with either. But hopefully one day I can start getting back into it and getting back into a little bit of shape because I am really out of shape right now. Number 16, I am 27 years old. And that is interesting because I have been accused of lying about my age and have asked to see an ID from someone I was friends with in high school. They, they thought that I wasn't as old as I said I was. And they still didn't believe me even after I showed them the ID, they didn't believe that I was 18. I thought I was like a freshman. I was also lectured by this older man when I was at work, telling me that I was way too young to get married. I was engaged at the time, who also thought I was 17 or 18 years old wanting to get married. On our honeymoon when I was definitely a legal drinking age, <laughs> um, the bartender didn't think I was old enough to even sit at the bar, which you have to be 18 to sit at the bar. And now apparently I'm a teen mom of two. I mean, it would be nice if people would take me seriously as a 27 year old, but at least when I'm old, I'll look young. I don't know. <laughs> if you can hear my daughter, I'm sorry. She is really fighting her nap, but I usually keep her in there for at least an hour for like quiet time, which it's not very quiet right now, but I always hope she'll fall asleep, but it doesn't always happen. She's almost two. What can you do? So number 17, despite the negativity around the SeaWorld franchise, I am obsessed with SeaWorld. I've always been obsessed with SeaWorld and marine mammals in general. Orcas have actually always been my favorite animal. And when I was younger, I was convinced that I was going to be a SeaWorld trainer when I grew up. That obviously didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, I love SeaWorld and I wish I could go like every day. <laughs> Number 18, I am obsessed with fruit patterned things. If I can, I will insert some fruit patterned things that I own. <laughs> but if something has a fruit on it, like anything, um, clothes, bed sheets, um, home decor like whatever if it has fruit on it i'm instantly drawn to it and my best friend Brittany laughs at me about this <laughs> and obviously i have a new intro that has watermelon on it so i just love fruit i'm sorry <laughs> number 19 i am 5 7 and i'm actually like a quarter to half an inch taller than my husband i can't wear any kind of lift in my shoes or I'll be taller than him, like noticeably tall. 20, I stand like an actual flamingo. You know how in yoga, when you have to put one of your feet up, resting against the other one, I think it's like a tree pose or something. 
I just stand like that naturally. I don't always know that I'm doing it. I just like I'll be standing in the kitchen and just put my leg up and just stand like that. I don't know why, but that's just how I stand sometimes. Number 21, I have kind of an arch in my back because I don't stand up straight. I never really stood up straight growing up and it just kind of just formed. It's not like terrible or anything. It, I am kind of self-conscious about it, but I mean, it's my fault. I didn't listen to my parents when they told me to stand up straight. So that's just how things have to be right now. <laughs> And I don't have like any back issues or like scoliosis or anything like that. It's just like a little bit of an arch in my back. And I know you guys are dying to see it, but you can just go over to other videos, like cleaning videos and stuff, and you'll see it. Number 22, I have pretty much colored my hair all the pastel colors as you can think of. I went through a phase where I just had to try every single color. I did get it done like professionally when I did do that, so like it was natural. Well, <laughs> as natural as crazy colors can be. But I think the first one I tried was pink. I loved the pink, it was so cute. And I did lavender and turquoise and blue and red, which wasn't as pastel and was a terrible, terrible mistake. It took a while to get back to the blonde. But I have always gone back to blonde. I've also dyed my hair brown, like dark brown, a lot of times. And I don't know why, because I don't look good with dark hair. So I think now that I've tried all the colors, I can say that I've tried them and I'm just going to stick to my blonde because it looks the best on me. <laughs> Number 23, I'm obsessed with dance and all things like dance. I watch dance videos and all the dance TV shows and everything, but I cannot dance. I am, mm, I've got zero rhythm, zero. I've always wanted to dance, but I just... I even took ballroom dance classes once. My dad bought those for me for my birthday. And I mean, it was fun, but I couldn't do it very well. <laughs> for 24, this one is kind of embarrassing, but it kind of just shows like some things that I'm kind of anal about. But um, if I'm subscribed to someone, I have to watch every single one of their videos in order. <laughs> like the first video on to the last one. I, if they upload, I won't watch any of their new videos until I watch all of the old ones first, which is crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but like, I have to. So if I'm subscribed to you on YouTube, just know that I'll be watching every single one of your videos at some point in time. <laughs> Number 25, um, being a mom is the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. I've always wanted to be a mom. I just had no idea it would be as hard as it is. Um, it's definitely rewarding, like don't get me wrong, I love it, I wouldn't change anything, but the way that your entire life changes and like even your body and your emotions and everything, like I'm dealing with postpartum anxiety still to this day and my son's almost 10 months old, so it's just really changed me in general and it's tested my marriage a few times, but ultimately it has made us stronger, so don't worry, we're fine. We're great actually, but um, yeah. I've just never been a caretaker type person, so diving into this, being a stay-at-home mom with my husband working over like 60 hours a week some weeks, it's just really hard and not something that I'm used to. And I'm also like an introvert. I don't like talking to people. I need like my space sometimes and I just don't get that anymore. <laughs> so it's really challenged me, made me stronger, and yeah, it's just been the best thing to ever happen to me, honestly, but it has been a huge like change in my entire life. So yeah, that is it. That is 25 random facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments below some random things about you that some people might find funny. I probably would find funny. Before I go, I do want to mention that I'm still trying to figure out my uploading schedule. I was doing Mondays and Fridays, and I switched to just Fridays, and then I realized that that was just not enough for me. It was just a way too big of a gap between videos. So I'm going to try to do Tuesdays and Fridays now, with Fridays being vlogs and Tuesdays being videos like this. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.